Hey everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Profitable Prescription Podcast, hosted by Dr. Murdad Hariri. Join us every week for insightful discussions about the future of pharmacy business. Hello and welcome to another episode of Profitable Prescription Podcast. My name is Murdad Hariri. Today we have a special show for you. Today we're going to be focusing on ophthalmology specialized care for community pharmacies and how it can truly help improve patient care and bring needed business to your pharmacy. So let's begin. Think of a pharmacy where they're not just only dispensing medication, but also provide high-touch services tailored specifically to patients with eye conditions and diseases. So we'll call this ophthalmology specialized care, where pharmacists and pharmacy technicians are equipped with specialized knowledge and training in eye health to step in to offer a holistic approach to patient care. I mean, these kind of stuff can include such as packaging, cost, compliance, reminders, and also follow-ups. Yeah, follow-ups. I mean, think about as a pharmacist, you know, would you want to make a follow-up call to your patients and say, hey, I know you had cataract surgery, you had glaucoma surgery, you know, how are you doing today? Okay. So from dispensing the medication to medication and therapy management, patient education, counseling, the scope of services in ophthalmology special, specialized care is extensive. So if you collaborate closely with ophthalmologists and other healthcare professionals, it ensures that the patients receive the most effective treatment for their eye condition. But what does it take for a pharmacy to venture into a specialized domain like ophthalmology? Well, you know, not a whole lot, just basically knowledge and the know-how, okay? So invest in resources such as technology, okay, which is often necessary, including specialized tools and training for staff, okay? These include texting, voice calls, podcasting. It could include uh, written material. However, the rewards can be immense, you know, both in terms of patient care and business growth, okay? Let me give you a, a personal uh, uh, situation that happened to my mother. And uh, in 2011, uh, my mother uh, was suffering from uh, uh, glaucoma. So she was taken to the hospital, and she had eye surgery. And just within a month and a half or two months later, you know, she went blind in the left eye. It got me thinking, and, you know, my sister's a pharmacist, and it got me thinking, hey, you know, take a look at this. I'm a pharmacist, and, you know, my sister's a pharmacist, and, you know, my sister's taking care of my mom. How could have this happened where, you know, neither myself or my sister or nobody else in that household ever, you know, uh, wonder what happened? So... The truth of the matter was that she was given prescriptions for her eye surgery and said, here are the prescriptions, go home, see you next week, be here at 7 o'clock in the morning. So she did. She went to one of these companies that, uh, you know, pharmacies that there starts with this letter W, okay, and got the prescription filled, got home and looked at the eye drops. Okay, so this is here, one, you know, one, two, and three, I got the eye drops, I'm ready to go. And she did not realize, or she did not follow up the the process or the way she was supposed to take these medications. So she just assumed that, you know, well, she got the eye drops, and, you know, after the surgery, this is when I start using these type of stuff, and didn't look at the direction too carefully. So what happened was that, she went and had surgery, and neither the doctor or the nurse or nobody asked, hey, did you use your best advance? Did you get your Portlenza? Do you have prednisolone? None of that stuff. They just rolled right in. Five minutes later, she's out the door, got home. She ended up with some kind of complication, and a month later, she's blind. 
So this situation taught me a lesson. I said, gosh, if my mother went blind, okay, how many mothers are out there that are going blind and, you know, that maybe as a pharmacist or, you know, in their community, maybe they can step in and offer something to patients that are going undergoing the same type of operation to uh, have better outcome and not have complications. So let's, lo- uh, let's just zoom in on the journey of patient undergoing eye surgery. You know, there's pre-surgical care that involves not just medical evaluation, but a comprehensive patient education, right? So the doctor's going to get you in, tell you, hey, this is what's going to happen. We're going to try to, you know, uh, use a laser to bring the cornea, and then we're going to do this, X, Y, and Z, and then you'll be out of here in 15 minutes, and you go home, okay? So this is where, you know, uh, patients are walked through the procedure, right? So it's risk, benefits, and what to expect before, during, and after the surgery. So Post-surgical care is also equally crucial, ensuring that a smooth recovery and minimizing complication for the patient. You know, close monitoring and management of medications, including antibiotics or anti-inflammatory drugs, play a crucial role in promoting health and preventing infection. Throughout this process, you know, pharmacies providing essential medication counseling and management their expertise contributes significantly to the overall success and safety of the procedures and even costs involved in getting the medication they need. If you look at some of the statistics, uh, there has been studies that shows that 25 to 59 percent you know, of patients follow their physician's instruction and approximately 10 percent of glaucoma-related blindness may be due to patients not adhering to medical therapy. So you said, how is that? You know, I gave them a bottle that says, you know, use it in both eyes or one eye, you know, starting four days, three days before the surgery, throw in the prolenza, throw in the prednisolone. How could that happen? You know, following the cataract surgery, patients are typically prescribed, as I said, antibiotics, a non-steroidal and an anti-inflammatory drug, and uh, corticosteroids, okay, uh, each of which, you know, are administered with a different frequency uh, at different times. But, however, you know, patients' non-compliance with the prescribed eye drop treatment is uh, prevalent and may lead to a less than ideal outcome, which, you know, uh, potential complication such as infection or inflammation of the lens or the cornea, and they could have all kinds of issues and problems, whether they're having glaucoma, you know, cataract, or LASIK. So in essence, ophthalmology specialized care services offer pharmacies a unique opportunity to provide comprehensive care to patients while expanding their services Offer, uh, offering an expertise, and it's not just about revenue. It's about transforming patients' outcome and expenses, as I experienced uh, in 2011. So, so if you're a pharmacy looking to step into the realms of ophthalmology specialized care, you know our expertise here is here to guide you. Uh, uh, our tailored program and a one size uh, one-on-one consultation can pave the way to profitability and success. And you say, well, why would a doctor actually send me the prescription? What is the difference? Well, as I discussed before, there are several factors that come in when you are providing these type of services. Number one, and the most important part of it, is compliance, okay, and education. You have to educate your patient. Of course, at RX Connection, we have the program RX Minder, where you could send educational audios to patients, either by call or fax or email or uh, a text message that they can listen to at any time. There could be other links that could be added to that, where they can actually get the written um, 
uh, instruction directly from their patient where they can see what they really should be doing. And the next thing is a cost. You know, I know that, you know, in our pharmacies, which I owned, uh, you know, we had the same type of program that we developed in 2011 after my mother's incident. You know, we're looking at the cost and we're saying, hey, you know, you know, ProLens is not covered or Max, you know, uh, you know, best advance is not covered. So what does the pharmacist do? Working for a large chain, they call the doctor, get it switched over to tobromycin or change it to some other generic version, which that's not a preferred product for the patient. And it gets switched over because, hey, the plan doesn't cover it or the Medicare Part D doesn't cover it and so on and so forth. So cost is very important. So now knowing how to provide these medications, first of all, what they are, and second of all, how much will it be for each patient to get these medications through your pharmacy is important. And if the patient knows ahead of time what they're going to pay, that right there will you know improve your patient care you know, improve patients because they can afford it. They're not going to just blow it off and say, hey, you know, I don't want to get this. Uh, It costs me too much. I don't even know how much it's going to cost me. They know ahead of time, hey, this eye drop, eye drop A will be $30. Eye drop B would be $65. Eye drop C would be $95. So they know that this, all these program, all these medications are done by a, a pharmacist or a pharmacy that specialize in these type of things and providing that special care that you can provide in your community. Every independent pharmacist can do this by way of education, by whether it be written, whether it be text, whether it be calls, whether it be just a one-on-one call, pick up the phone and call the patient. Hey, how are you? I know you had surgery yesterday. Is everything going well? Are you using your, you know, uh, ProLenza, are you using your prednisolone? Do you have any problems? Do you have any questions for me about any of those eye drops? I mean, that makes a huge difference. So uh, that's basically all I want to say. And anytime if you have any questions about what we do and how we promote these type of services, be sure you call us and uh, we'll be able to walk you through and tell you about the kind of uh, uh things that we offer your pharmacy that can truly pave the ro- pave the way to these type of specialized care. So um, so I want to thank all of you. Uh, let's uh, illuminate some uh, the path to a better patient care and incre- increase revenue in this tough pharmacy environment. And I'd love to uh, hear more. And if you have comments or Please, you know, be sure you like us on any streaming platform that you listen your podcast. And uh, and uh, until next time, goodbye. Thanks for tuning into the Profitable Prescription Podcast. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, please contact us with the email in the description. And please be sure to like and share our podcast on your favorite playlist directory. 